Welcome to Word History Wednesday and Word History Wednesday and Word History Wednesday. Well, that was a bit awkward. Anyway, today another exciting episode of talking about the history of the church and the things that have happened and where the church is going. So today, ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about drum roll, the Moravian Church. And... I bet you are asking, so what is the Moravian Church? So the Moravian Church basically is one of the denominations of the Protestant Church and they believe in the basic tenets of Christianity that Christ died, Christ rose, and Christ is our salvation. Have you heard of the Czech Republic? I thought so. So the Moravians originally were from Bohemia and Moravia, which actually is the Czech Republic of today. Great history lesson, right? So two Orthodox missionaries... Cyril and Methodius traveled to Moravia and converted it to Christianity and translated the Bible. So the Moravian church are spiritual descendants of Jan Hus. Do I hear Jan Hus? Jan Hus actually is another reformer. Do I hear reformer, reformer, reformer in the house? Just like Martin Luther we discussed last week, Jan Hus was also a reformer. And what was he reforming? Let's get right into it. So Jan Hus started his ministry in 1400 years. That is a long time ago. And he was basically um, reforming certain unbiblical doctrines he saw with the church, such as the sale of indulgences, people buying their salvation. What is this thing with people buying their salvation, guys? But it was real and people used to buy their salvation. And John Hu says, no, that cannot happen. So he was reforming that. And um, in 1415, unfortunately, he was burned at the stake for speaking truth. That is tough. He was burned at the stake. Um, but by 1457, the Mor- Moravian church came together and they became the unity of the brethren, which later became the Moravian church. And this church was super successful. They had their own printing press um, to translate the Bible to native languages for people. And they were really doing big things. However, at the point they were exiled and they were living with a count in Germany called Count Zinzendorf. This is where it gets exciting, guys. So in 1727, the church was praying together and they were communing together and the Holy Spirit comes down and he sets in their heart a fire for missions. And you know what they do right after? They establish a 24-hour prayer chain, continuous and broken prayer chain, 24-7. They were praying for 24 hours a day for 100 years. 100 years. 100 years. Oh my God! Wow! And this is what it did. It sparked in their hearts a fire for missions. So they went to South America, North America, the Caribbean, um, Africa, and the Far East. So the Holy Spirit set in their hearts a fire for missions. Missions, and these were the first people to send lay ministers out into the world, unordained people like you and I, who are in school, who are work, who are doing our own shabang to the world. And they send their missions all over the world. And actually, we have a mission right here in Pennsylvania. They came to Pennsylvania. They established towns like Bethlehem, like Nazareth. Isn't that something big? So a few things we learned from the Moravian church and their history and their prayer life. Um, Number one is that a Christian is a missionary regardless of your job. You could be a doctor, an engineer, a painter, a dancer. Once you're a Christian, Christ has called us to go to the end of the earth. They also believe in the unity of Christ, putting aside our differences and um, advancing the cause of Christ. The third thing they believe is in the power of prayer. I mean, these people were praying for 24 hours, seven days a week for 100 years. And indeed, it shows in all the great things they did all around the world. And finally, they were self-sufficient missionaries. They were lay people. They did their secular jobs and then they preached the gospel. If they did it, ladies and gentlemen, you and I can do it. It's been a fantastic, fantastic time. Um, World History Wednesday can... Catch us next week, same time. Subscribe!